Hi there, Pankaj here. So in this video, we're gonna look how we create roll-up summary fields between objects having lookup relationship using triggers. Record triggered flows we have seen previous in the previous video, and I will add the link for that video in the description. We discussed most of the things in the previous video. No need to go on it, and we could check the scenarios here. So scenario R. We will be counting total number of relatory contacts an account have, which should get updated on inserting a contact or deleting a contact or updating. Updating simply here means suppose we are delinking that contact and linking with it, it with other account. So on the account it got delinked, there will be a decrement in the total number of related contacts. In account to which it got linked, there will be an increment. That's a simple thing. We have also checked this in previous video, and then we have. We will be finding salary of each related contact. Basically, salary is a field that we created on contact and on account. We will be finding the sum of or sum of salaries of all the contacts related to our account. That's the scenario. In this video, we will see how do we do it using triggers. So, without wasting any time, let's move to our org. So, we are here in our org. So, then since we are gonna see it using triggers, let's go to our developer console. We have our triggers there. I've already created the code for that so that to save the time and reduce the length of the video. Okay, so I will be just explaining you how the code is working here, and you could just have a look at this code. Okay, so it's an open for it for the that that is counts. Initially, I was thinking of making them separate. Then later on, I thought to make them one, but I left it as it is and made a separate code for the count and the sum. Though it could be merged together. Okay. I just the I have just commented it. We will just uncomment it. Let me open the other one as well. Okay. Okay. Just the both of them are got open. Let's discuss the count. Let's deal. Let's uncomment it first. Okay, and then let's discuss. Okay. Let me save it, and let uncomment the other one as well. Let me uncomment this one as well. I commented it because I made that flow as well. Now, so that's why. So we have uncommented and saved. So let's calc think about count first. Okay. So here are the three scenarios on which this trigger will exit. If you insert a contact, if you delete a contact, or you update a contact. Okay. That's a simple thing. First thing. Then we have created a list of contacts where we will be storing the related contact. We will check it how it looks. Okay. Just leave as it is a list. Okay. So we have contact list. Okay, if the scenario is in which we are deleting, it is storing all those old contact, deleted contact in case of delete in this. As you know, for delete we will be using trigger dot old, so it gets stored here. That's the first thing. Then after that we move to the else part, which will be storing in the contact in case of a insert or a update. That is, I have commented as storing contact which are inserted or updated. Now after that we have stored that we move to a set. Okay, in this set, we are storing unique account IDs as many as many contacts could be linked to the same account. Okay, what I mean here, suppose in a contact, there are various contacts that could be linked to same account, and each one of them have would have the same account ID. So we don't want repeated values. That's why we take took took set and storing only unique values. So what we did here. We move use the for loop here for contact con in contact list. Basically, all the contact in this case, irrespective of what is the uh, case, whether it's a delete or update or insert, because it's storing value depending on the case. Okay, we move the for loop, then check whether account ID is null or not. Okay, they're taking only those contacts which have an account linked with them, because account ID is not a required field, so there could be account contacts where that don't have any account ID. That's why we check this. And then we add account ID to the this con account ID to this account ID set ID. Okay, that set. Basically, we added all them to all of them, all account ID to this set, only storing unique IDs. Okay, once we are done with this, we created a list account for update. Basically, accounts that we need to update. New list. We select list. We select all those accounts. We select the fields that we require. That is ID related contact and. And a sub query where we are storing contacts. Okay, from contact where ID is in this account ID. Okay, account ID was that set. So storing all that that in that. So basically fetching all the account ID from that set and fetching all the contact accounts related to that. Okay, now we created a list of contact ID. Okay, now we created a for loop on this 
account account for update okay now after that we will check uh, every e contact related to that for contact a dot contacts to get all the related contacts we need that sub query that's why we used it now we were basically adding the account id since to count we will basically counting the ids so storing all the ids of the related id in this list that we created and once we are done with it we are just checking if a dot related contact c basically the field on the account has its size if its size does not equal to the account size since it's storing the latest latest value of all the number basically this is storing the latest count so we are just checking the old value in the like the present value in the related contacts with the size value which is with storing the latest value of the count okay that you can see checking if value of related contact field is equal to the latest total related contact if not if not then we just updating it with the latest value that would be the size basically the number of ids that we stored in this contacts id list that's we did and just last in the last we just updated it that's how we did the count so hopefully you are clear with this code it's not difficult it's very simple to use it once you try to type on your own and check it you will be able to do it okay and if you guys need this code you could just connect with me on a linkedin and i will send you this code okay this one as well as the add code as well that we are going to discuss now hopefully you are clear with this so now let's discuss add also before we check this hope this code is clear that's not like very hard it's very simple to easy okay so very simple and easy to understand so let's check the salary part okay that is also similar to it we have trigger add summary same cases we have created a list of contact then if trigger dot is delete we are storing a deleted contact here if it is insert or update we are storing here then we have a set id which is storing the e unique count id and then sim using similar principle we select a co contact for update select id and we also need salary since we also require salary to calculate sum that's why we have select id comma salary from contacts and all the ids are present in this set which stores unique account id now we will move for account a account for update where we just initialize total salary variable to zero okay now we will go to each related contact and add add each of them into this total salary which is the field of the account add only existing contact salary okay that is we are doing and in it, and at the last we are just updating simple and easy to do and we are done with it that's the code and to be your like and you will be amazed that these two codes are one of the most like most of the most asked questions in the interviews using with how to create roll up summary between objects having look up relationship using triggers or code that is this so simple to understand and you and i already told you if you need the code connect with me on linkedin i will personally send you the code no issue on that okay so let since we have discussed how the code is working and how the code is doing let's check it whether it's working fine in our org or not okay so let's go to our org here from here and let's create a new one and see it see with your eyes okay let's say test i i want to use it now let's say youtube account Okay, that we need to add CD one two three. Okay, and now this is zero. This deleted section it would be empty since we haven't added. Let's add two contacts in. Let's say miss miss test two, miss test one. Okay, and let's add it to be salary to be three hundred here. Okay, save it. And let's add another one. Uh, miss test two. Let it to be two hundred. So total sum should be five hundred, and the count should be two. So we are done with it. So let's check in the details section. As you can see, count is two five hundred, and let's delete one. So we would see. So if we delete this, this is a two hundred one. So the count sum would be salary sum would be three hundred and count would be one. Let's delete this one to check that delete one is also working fine. Yeah, we deleted it. Yeah, that's one. So that's so simple and done. 
so hope you are clear with it if you have any doubt let me know in the comments or connect with me on linkedin or send me a mail available on my youtube channel as well but i will all add them in the description as well and for the code i already know told you if you need code just ping me on your connect with me and ping me on linkedin and i will personally send you the code so that's all from my side see you in the next video thank you for watching